Well, YouTube, you can see the shop is uh, marginally cleaned up. Bronco's still in here looking badass on its 32 inch tires. Phil's over here. Now we did actually get the Bronco running pretty decent. I uh, have to adjust the carburetor a little bit. I think that carburetor came off a 351 or a 302 and I don't think that the jet sizes are right. I've got the idle adjustment screws, or the not the idle, but the fuel, fuel mixture screws open like five and a half turns on each side. And uh, I do need to do a little bit more timing, but we've got it running one heck of a lot better than it was uh, New Year's Day. Today is the second, but uh, Phil's actually going to demonstrate how it runs. He's going to take it out for a spin. So, and then we've got some things we want to do to it. So, go ahead and fire it up, Phil. Uh, two pumps and okay. Phil pumped it, he set the choke. <laughs> Which needed not be done, but that's fine. So, but as you can hear, it's idling now and running pretty awful decent. And away he goes. What? I didn't say anything. Off you go. So it's running. <laughs> Wish he wouldn't do that down the alley. I really don't want to piss off the neighbors. But I suppose kids will be kids. Boys will be boys. So, Phil, is it better than the uh, than the first time you drove it? Yeah, it ain't sputtering around corners. It's good, good. You got that carburetor tuned a whole lot better than what it was that night. Well, it's still not the right carburetor, though. It's not the right carburetor. It flutters a little bit still. It flutters a little bit off the start, but once you're, you're moving just, the RPMs up a little bit, sure, it's fine. Could just be an accelerator pump issue. Might need to shorten up Possibly. that rod or adjust the linkage. Possible. Awesome. But, and and I know the timing's still out a little bit because when you get it warmed up it, it does a little labor to, to start up. It does a little wool. Well wolf. anyways, so on to our other little projects we got going on. Show you guys what we got. Number one, the uh, back window's doing its funny thing where it won't roll up again. So we gotta figure out what's going on there. And uh, as you can see, there's already an amp in it. It was used to drive the 6x9s that are up there, but those have since been unhooked. And so, we're getting one of those, and I'm going to install it right there, and it's going to get hooked up to that amp, and we're going to hook the 6x9s up to the deck up front. And one of the door speakers isn't working, so we got to rewire on all that. And, uh, yeah, so we got some little things, just some additions, and... and uh, little piddly things to mess with so let's get after it okay YouTube um, it, it appears that there's not nearly as much room here as I thought there would be in between that panel and the rear fender so what I'm gonna have to do is kinda build a custom box of sorts that'll go in the uh, in the panel there <sighs> um, and I haven't quite conjured up a method of doing that yet. I don't know whether I should just build it strictly to the outside or whether I should inset the sub actually into this panel. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do is I'll cut a, cut a small hole here so that the magnet has a place to go through. And I'll back up, I'll build up the back side of this um, back here so that it'll support the weight. And... Um, and then box it in, but I've got to have it. I'm going to have to take a measurement here and see how much room I got there.
because I want a sealed box for that MTX-12. But we'll make it work one way or the other. The Bronco's getting a sub today. But, yes, Phil puts his thumbs up. In the meantime, Phil's hooking up, running new wires and hooking up the 6x9s and the one door speaker that wasn't working. We'll get her all done and, uh, yeah, so we'll see, see what we come up with anyways. Well, this is turning out to be a fairly pointless video. Um, after some great discussion, well, actually there wasn't even much discussion about it, it just was decided that if I put a sub in there, I'm going to take off the top eventually. The sub and the box and the wood and everything is going to get ruined and that's not going to be good. And uh, aside from which, yeah, I can't get that 12 inch in there without coming out to about here with the box, which is going to hinder my my uh, cargo area, which as you guys know, this Bronco tends to do a little bit of hauling from time to time. So what we've resorted to is we're going to leave, well, we're going to change that amp because that amp is a really crappy one. By the way, if any of you guys ever see, uh, what is it, Alpha Sonics on the internet, on eBay, don't buy it. It's a piece of crap amp. But I've got another amp that I'm going to put in place of that one. And uh, yeah, and that'll be used to drive the 6x9s, which those two 6x9s are fairly blown anyways, so I guess I'm starting on a project pretty unprepared like. Um, but so we're going to have to pick up a pair of 6x9s, and, uh, and I think I've got a decent app to put there. And then we'll kind of maybe resume this project later, and we'll just resort to amplified 6x9s, which should actually work out pretty good. But, I suppose we will continue on putting the wiring up the front speaker, front door speaker, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in another video. Well, YouTube, I'm going to make sure this isn't a complete waste of a day. I was noticing this accelerator pump, it's like the spring isn't, isn't pushing out enough on uh, this uh, pump. So, I've taken this carb that I got and um, pulling the accelerator pump out of it and we'll see if it does any good because I'm not going to go down and buy an accelerator pump right this very minute. Um, it's really a pretty simple simple thing to do. Um, all we got to do is undo these four bolts. I've already loosened them and I've got a good spring and a good diaphragm here. At least the diaphragm looks pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll find out. There's no cracking or major bubbling or anything in it so it shouldn't leak. But, like I say, we'll find out here. Um, yeah, and hopefully we get a little bit better off throttle or off idle response going on. So, let's get after it. Now, supposedly, Matt had replaced this accelerator pump. It was either that or it was the, the power valve on the bottom but I'm not 100% positive on what got done. I just just know that something isn't right with it. And you know, the way the spring's looking, it should be returning fine, but it acts like it's not coming out all the way. So, I guess we'll find out, but... Well, for starters, Matthew had the spring backwards, so... Huh, let's try this a little differently and see if it makes a... Huh, oh, that might actually... Nope, my accelerator pump's still hanging back for whatever reason. Well, that's a little odd. So, okay, well, we'll... Uh, wonder what's going on with that. You know, since this is a new accelerator pump, Phil, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and replace the spring in it, maybe see if that makes any difference. Could be he's got it backwards. You know, that's another possibility. Actually, that's a little, a little different deal. Huh. Well, that or it's got a different pin or something. I don't know. Well, we'll replace it with this diaphragm, because I know that this diaphragm should have the right length of pin for this carburetor. Could have been that he got a 
that he got the wrong uh, wrong kit when he put it together. So we'll go with this newer springs that looks a little less collapsed. And we'll put her back together after we let the gas dry up because I have a terrible fear of fire and I only have one tiny little fire extinguisher in this garage. And we'll have Phil take it out for a spin and see if he blows up. And who knows, I still don't know what this carburetor's for or what jets are in it or anything, but well, at any rate, um, let's uh, now, mind you, it's going to be out of gas in the bowl, so it's going to take a second of cranking to get it fired up, but it should go. Whoa, 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 dude, dude, too much. Just gotta put the air cleaner on and uh go so, and take it for a spin. Remember, we're looking for off final response. Hopefully that's just because it's cold, either that or could be that diaphragm's ripped. We'll see what Phil has to say when he gets back. accelerator pump. I think we're probably good for the time being. I'll have to fix that fuel leak um, on the diaphragm on the accelerator pump and uh, yeah. Just little tuning and tweaking a little bit at a time and it'll it'll be back to 100%.